Did you know that your viewers are much more likely to put up with bad video quality than they are to put up with bad audio? Just imagine listening to this for 10 minutes straight. I mean, ugh. Now that isn't to say that you shouldn't try to shoot high quality video, but having high quality audio is a key to keeping your viewers engaged and prevent them from just wanting to rip their ears out. In this video, I want to give you a quick overview of the Boris FX Crumple Pop Audio Filters. It's a collection of AI-based audio plugins that can make your audio sound a million times better and fix some really common but also really annoying audio issues all with just a few simple clicks. I've been using them myself within Adobe Premiere Pro, but they also work within Audition, Resolve, Final Cut, Logic Pro, GarageBand. They're available as VST, so you can really plug them into anything you want. Now, before this goes to a second date, I do want to call out that this video is sponsored by Boris FX, but I'm always super excited to work with their team and I have been using their products for many, many years now. From Mocha Pro, their Academy Award-winning Planar Tracker, to the massive Sapphire and Continuum effects collections, Particle Illusion, Optics and more. They just make my video editing life so much easier. And the Crumple Pop audio plugins that they've recently added to their product lineups are slowly becoming a staple in my workflow as well because, let's face it, dealing with badly recorded audio happens way more often than we would like to admit. You can try all of the plugins out for yourself with a free trial and if you like what you hear, you can purchase either a monthly subscription or if you just hate subscriptions, you can also purchase a perpetual single license for you to hug and keep. If you're interested, I'm going to drop you a personal link down below the video that will give you 15% off the Crumple Pop audio filters. But now let's finally have a look at the Crumple Pop audio filters in action so you can see how they work and hear what they sound like for yourself. You may not be filming in a huge cave, let alone next to a crashed alien spaceship. But you may have recorded your audio in a space that had bad acoustics or you had some equipment failure and therefore you ended up with audio that had a lot of echo and reverb on it. Unfortunately, this is something that can be tricky to get rid of and you may need some audio engineering skills to apply tools such as noise gates and low and high pass filters. Fortunately, you can use the Echo Remover plugin from the Crumple Pop collection to get rid of the echo and reverb really easily. Here's a typical clip with some room reverb issues. Welcome to the podcast, coming at you from a perfectly square room where I've decided to remove all of the acoustic foam from the walls to give you a really nice echo reverby sound. Let's not torture ourselves too long with that clip. So in Premiere Pro, I'm simply going to drop the echo remover filter onto the clip and play it back. Welcome to the podcast, coming at you from a perfectly square room where I've decided to remove all of the acoustic foam from the walls to give you a really nice echo reverby sound. And it's instantly better. Echo and reverb are gone and the voice sounds much more prominent and clear. You can open up the filter settings and tweak the strength to change how strongly the filter gets applied. You can adjust the output volume or modify the dryness, body or tone to really tune in the final effect. Now do note that if your audio is really bad to the point of there being more echo and reverb than actual dialogue, you might end up hearing some noise gatey artifacts. Hey guys and welcome to another very exciting Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this. But most of the common echo and reverb issues that I've encountered can easily be fixed simply by throwing the echo remover filter straight onto the clip. Next scenario, you're out and about and you're shooting a vlog or an outdoor interview and you happen to be at a location that has a lot of traffic noise. Fortunately, you can really easily remove that noise using the Traffic Remover plugin from the Crumple Pop Filter collection. Let's simply apply the Traffic Remover plugin to this clip and let's play it back. Next scenario, you're out and about and you're shooting a vlog or an outdoor interview and you happen to be at a location that has a lot of traffic noise. Fortunately, you can really easily remove that noise using the Traffic Remover plugin from the Crumple Pop Filter collection. So much better and all without having to tinker with any effect parameters. Now, as always, you can open up the plugin settings and change the strength, the output volume, or tweak how much the plugin affects your low, mid, or high frequency in the audio to tune in the removal effect to your particular type of traffic noise. If you're filming outside on a windy day, one of the common issues that you're going to encounter is the noise of the wind hitting your microphone. Fortunately, you can use the wind remover from the Crumple Pop collection to get rid of that noise pretty easily. So let's jump into Premiere Pro, apply the wind remover filter to the audio. Let's listen to that again. If you're filming outside on a windy day, one of the common issues that you're going to encounter is the noise of the wind hitting your microphone. Fortunately, you can use the wind remover from the Crumple Pop collection to get rid of that noise pretty easily. That's a lot better. 
and you have the same parameters available to control the strength, the output volume or the low, mid and high frequencies to fine tune the noise removal effect to suit your particular situation. Here's another thing I love, fluorescent light bulbs. I love their calming glow and their gentle yet steady hum. And since that's a big fat lie, let's jump into Premiere Pro and apply the audio denoise audio filter to the clip. Let's play that back one more time. Here's another thing I love, fluorescent light bulbs. I love their calming glow and their gentle yet steady hum. And since that's a big fat lie, let's jump into Premiere Pro and apply the audio denoise audio filter to the clip. And the buzzing is completely eliminated. This works for any type of persistent buzzing or hissing noise that you might have accidentally recorded. And as before, you have the same parameters available in the plugin that you can tweak to get the most precise removal of your particular audio noise. This one is for all of the screamers out there. Or for those who just lose the taste of their microphone. All horrendous jokes aside, it's actually pretty common that you might accidentally have your input level on your microphone too high and so you end up with clipped audio that sounds distorted and unprofessional. To fix this issue, we can simply apply the clip remover filter to the audio and let's listen to that again. This one is for all of the screamers out there. Or for those who just lose the taste of their microphone. This one is for all of the screamers out there. Or for those who just lose the taste of their microphone. And it's fixed. The filter reconstructs the clipped audio and brings your voice back to sounding natural. Now on this plugin, you only have a threshold and an output volume parameter that you can adjust, but quite honestly, that's usually all you need. If you're recording a podcast and the microphone is too close to your face, you might get issues with plosives, which are consonant sounds like P, B, T, D, that explode a lot of air out of your mouth and when that air hits the microphone, create a popping sound. For example, Peter passionately popped a plethora of colorful party poppers, producing powerful percussive pops and playful popping sounds. Now you can and should really use a pop filter, but you might still end up with some plosives on your audio. Fortunately, they're really easy to remove using the pop remover from the Crumple Pop collection. In Adobe Premiere Pro, we're simply going to apply the pop remover filter to our audio and let's listen to that again. Peter passionately popped a plethora of colorful party poppers, producing powerful percussive pops and playful popping sounds. Peter passionately popped a plethora of colorful party poppers, producing powerful percussive pops and playful popping sounds. The plosives are gone. And again, you have the usual parameters that you can adjust to tweak the effect to your liking. Jeez, it's getting hot in here, isn't it? Or maybe I'm just getting all flustered from all of the awful puns, bad jokes and lame examples I'm trying to stuff into this video. Like me touching my shirt while recording this on a laugh microphone. Now, you may not be touching yourself quite that much on video, but this rustling sound of a shirt on a laugh microphone is quite a common audio issue. And again, it's fortunately really easy to fix using the Russell Remover plugin from the Crumple Pop collection. Let's apply the Russell Remover to the audio clip and let's listen to that again. Jeez, it's getting hot in here, isn't it? Or maybe I'm just getting all flustered from all of the awful puns, bad jokes and lame examples I'm trying to stuff into this video. Like me touching my shirt while recording this on a laugh microphone. And that's a ton better. The rustling is pretty much unnoticeable. This filter has the same parameters as the other plugins, same ease of use and the same caller that once you start scratching your shirt off, there might simply be too much rustling going on to remove every last bit of it. The last plugin I want to show you is called Levelmatic and it helps you keep your audio volume consistent whether you're far away, really close, or you're just turning your head away from the microphone because there's a dog with a fluffy tail. Once again, in Premiere Pro, let's apply the Levelmatic filter to the audio and let's have a listen. The last plugin I want to show you is called Levelmatic and it helps you keep your audio volume consistent whether you're far away, really close, or you're just turning your head away from the microphone because there's a dog with a fluffy tail. That sounds way better. And as per usual, you can adjust the strength or the targeted output volume to your liking. And that's all there is to it. I really hope you found this video useful. If you're interested in the Crumple Pop audio filters, remember there's a personal link below the video that will give you 15% off the final price. Any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down below. And with that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.